What up YouTube? It's your boy AQ and listen before we get into the video let me just say thanks to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the STC fam. We are on the road to 100k subscribers right now so if you guys appreciate the content just show some love right now and like and subscribe. Go ahead and do so right now. All right, let's get into the video. So if you're standing with your man and another man, stranger, ask you a question, what are you supposed to do? So if you're standing with your man and another stranger asks you a question, what do you think that you should do? I would answer that question. Hmm, okay. Um, it's probably why you're single. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I want to get the ladies' answers. And and th actually, that's a good one. Let's go with you. So if you're standing with your man uh, and another man approaches you and asks you a question, what would you do? It depends on the question. For sure. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Uh, right over here. It would depend on the depend question. Depending on the question, if you're going to... Oh, what about you? I'm not answering it. I'm looking at my man and going around him, getting tucked on the back. Be you can answer that. Go. Yes, okay, we have, she definitely knows what she's talking about. What about you? Depends on the question. Depends on the question. Okay, so I have another question for you ladies, right? And we're going to start with you. <clears throat> if, if a man walked up on you and he smacked your butt, right? And, her. yeah, her. Okay. Yeah, a man walked up on you and he smacked your butt. And um, your man looks at you and says, oh, and you look at your man and y'all kind of like staring at each other like, okay, who's going to bite the bad guy? <laughs> uh, how would that make you feel? That would never happen. That would never happen, no. right? And why wouldn't it happen? Because you want your man to protect you at all times, right? Yes. Okay, got you. And you like expect that from your man? Yes, if you're not built that way, then I won't entertain it. Okay, so even if a dude isn't built that way, he would, uh, you wouldn't entertain it. And men would not entertain a woman that's not built a certain way. Because we expect a woman, if a woman is, if a man approaches my woman and she even has the audacity to even think to answer a question from another man, that's not anything I would ever entertain. You're fired. That's fair. Ever. She'll, yeah, you'll be fired. But exactly. If somebody comes up to me and goes, hey, do you know directions to here? If you're a local, like that happens all the time. Stuff doesn't bother me. So let if somebody ask me is like random or. Let me reframe it in, in another way where maybe you can understand and you ladies as well that gave and you yourself as well. Like, and y'all could, you know, pitch in your ideas too. If you disagree, you don't have to agree. This is called no gazy, so speak what's on your mind. If you don't agree, you'd be like, ah, cool, you crazy. You don't agree with this nonsense. Uh, if a dude walk up to me, I'm going to answer all the questions. I want you to speak your truth. Um, your truth. <laughs> so, uh, I ask you this is because you expect a certain type of man and you always want this guy to be masculine at all times we expect a certain type of woman we want her to be feminine at all times and uh part of the reason why you expect your man to knock out that other dude if he touches your butt is the same reason why you're like you're with that man your baseline is protection and providing right that's what you look for our baseline what we look for a woman is femininity sexuality and compliance kind of said you know what i mean so you speaking to another guy it's like ah i'm right here you are my woman you shouldn't be this guy needs to speak to me actually he would be disrespecting me you would be disrespected he's already disrespecting me if he's talking to you so that's one way you should look at it like wait why did he come up to me and you're standing i'm standing with my man so he's already disrespectful so therefore you should yield everything to your man because that other man is disrespecting your man Make sense? Kind of like if her answer, like if a dude walked up on her, you said that, ah, no, I'm getting behind my man. Make sense? What, do you agree to that? Or do you understand the concept between the roles of male and female when it comes to that? I know you understand that the male's part, like, oh, you want your man to protect you, but on a female's part, like, you want her to be, like, like submissive and feminine and stuff like that. Do you get that or not? No, I agree with that. You want to know one of the best benefits of celibacy is? Not wasting five years of my life with a no good man. Because I got a soul tie. Look, here's the thing, bro. If a woman is not a virgin, bro, celibacy don't make no sense, man. 
it's the silliest shit ever. Like, if I meet a chick and she says she's celibate, I'm like, yo, stop the bullshit, man. Because you not. You just haven't found a dude that you want to smash yet. And if you're not a virgin, there's no benefit in that for a woman. I mean, a dude is not going to look at you any special. Because a bunch of these chicks be thinking that based on the fact that they say they celibate, a dude is going to look at her like she's special. No, you, you just confused right now. Folks on UK season is about it's taking time to understand who you are and who do you want to become. And when you start to think about the woman that you want, who is the woman that is aligned with the man you want to become? Because mm. that may not be the woman who's aligned with who you are and just your current desires right now. Mm. And I think that that's when you got to be, again, you got to start stepping in and make those executive decisions, right? For yourself that align with your future and not just align with your current circumstances or your current desire. Tell them about the freak off, Diddy Jr. Diddy Jr., tell them about the freak off. He calling the police, y'all. He calling, no, I don't give a, listen. No, you know what you did. Your body slammed me on the floor. Come on, police, police. Tell them the real you. Tell them the real you. Tell them, tell them the real you. Tell them the real you and why we're here today. Tell them why we're here today. Tell, shut the boy, refuse to remove me. Why? 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 Because the commotion, how did the commotion start? What did, what, what did we talk about? What did I ask of you? All of that is irrelevant. All of that is irrelevant. Okay, so you calling the bullies. Like a Like a Y'all, guess what? Over what? Over what? Because he want hoes over the house while his kids is here. Why you like to have hoes, drugs, and and weed, alcohol, mushrooms, and prostitutes in the house while his kids are here. Everyone has asked him to stop, but he will not listen to nobody. This is what's going on. This is the tea. While the bitch is in the house, I asked him not to bring no in the house. I even came over here to help him with these kids because he won't want to he won't watch these kids. Tell him about the freak off, Diddy Jr. Diddy Jr. Tell him about the freak off. Tell him about the freak off. Tell them the truth. Tell these people the truth. Oh, shut the up. You don't give a fuck about none of these kids. Do y'all see a fucking picture in this house of a fucking kid? He don't care about these kids. All he care about is doing drugs, drinking alcohol, fucking these hoes. That's what you care about. So let's go. I'm a diddy bop the fuck up out of here. You and your freak off. You can get back to your freak off in a minute. You'll be next. You'll be next. You'll be next. You'll be next. Your stories will be coming out next. He gonna say, my daughter crying. Uh, you gotta go. But the hoe gonna stay, huh? The hoe gonna stay? The hoe gonna stay? Excuse me. The hoe gonna stay? The hoe gonna stay? Excuse the me. The hoe gonna stay? Come on now. The hoe gonna stay? You doing a lot. Huh? Me. Why can't you just be at home with your kids? Why can't you just get out? Why you just can't be at home with the kids? Excuse me. Why you can't be at home with the kids? Is that hard for you to lay in the bed and lay down with your kids? No, I've done it before. No, you don't do it. That's the problem. That's why I'm here, and you know that. And you know that. And you know that though. And you know that. And you know that. I'm on that. Shut up. Shut up. Shut your up. Man, shut your up. Shut your up. Take care of your kids and shut the bitch. Shut the fuck up. Mr. Clean, please stop playing with me before I slap the shit out of you. Yo, you slap the shit out of you. No, shut your ass up. Shut your yeah, I know I'm going to go to jail with you. That's why I'm staying. I'm staying, I'm staying far away from you. The <laughs> police. Police. Shut your up. Pussy. You already did that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shut up. For every man, there's a woman. And for every dummy, there's a dummy. <laughs> the sad thing about it is this. You really can't feel sorry for Neo. Fellas, this is what happens whenever you choose to deal with low-hanging fruits. This is what happens whenever you were simp in real life and your talent got you some money and you tricked that money off on hoes. This is what happens whenever you dump in these birds. This man is out here fucking these types of women raw. He's out here having kids with these types of women. So what do you expect, bro? I keep telling y'all, fam, the thing about a sucker is once you give a sucker money, he just turns into a bigger sucker, fam. 
And the thing about these birds, they can't stand simps. So what they usually do is disrespect these types of men. It's crazy. The fact that a man will save a bird, treat a bird special, got in a nice crib, he even had a kid by her. And this is the way she disrespects him. Yo, it's crazy, bro. Call out, man, Mr. Clean. After that man stepped down, came downstairs to get with this bird, to build her up, only to get disrespected like this. This is why I keep telling y'all, fellas, don't feed the birds. These women don't respect simps. After, listen, a simp could give a bird the world. She will still disrespect him. This right here is sad, bro. This right here is sad. If we're in a relationship, I probably can have a conversation, like a regular conversation with a boy, like boy, but you can never have a, a regular conversation with a girl because I don't know your intentions. Like, I know my intentions because my intentions are like, no, I don't, I don't fuck with you. But your intent, I don't know, so you can't, no. You can't talk to girls. I can talk to boys. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.